Well, good morning. It is Sunday, January 23rd, 2011. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. We're going to take five minutes here and study the Word of God. We're in Matthew chapter 4, and hopefully you'll be able to go to church today if uh, you're watching this on Sunday. And uh, hopefully you have a great church that teaches the Word. But anyway, we're going to teach it right here in verse 23 of Matthew 4. And he went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, those oppressed by demons, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee and the Decapolis, and from Jerusalem and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. Well, we just uh, finished talking about John the Baptist and how he'd been arrested. Now Jesus really gets going with his own ministry now. And he's doing a lot of preaching about the kingdom. And we will be getting into some of these teachings about the kingdom when we get into the Sermon on the Mount. And that's going to be starting next time. And he's doing a lot of healing. It says he healed every disease, every affliction among the people. And you know, when you're, you're healing every disease and every affliction, you're going to get famous pretty quickly. Now, we've got some folks out there that claim to be healing people. But if you look at what they do compared to what Jesus did, there's a big, big difference. Jesus healed every disease and every affliction. If they came to him, he healed them. When he went to a town, when he was done, there was no more disease in that town. What you got now is people saying that they're doing some healing and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Well, I hate to tell you this, but I don't believe what's going on is... I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be judgmental. Yet, the scripture does talk about false prophets, false miracles, things like that. We'll even get into some of that later. That's not my purpose, though. I don't want to be negative. The fact is that Jesus was powerful. He still is powerful, and He can still heal. Now, He does not choose to heal every disease and every affliction today. Alright? You cannot count on that. Sometimes He allows disease and affliction for His purposes, for His glory. And the reason He healed all these people and, and cured all these diseases was for his father's glory it was all about his father's glory and I believe Jesus was compassionate but he healed them to produce to make to glorify his father is what I'm trying to say he did everything to please his father his father wanted him to heal these people so he healed them and he got a big ministry going which is going to lead us to the Sermon on the Mount coming up he had huge crowds following him at this time. If you want huge crowds, get a healing ministry. If you want small crowds, get a truth ministry. Start preaching truth in your crowds. <laughs> but at this point, his primary thing is just preaching the good news of the kingdom. He's not preaching anything hard right now. And healing. And when you do that, you're going to draw big, big crowds. So, hey, I don't know how big a crowd I'm going to draw teaching this what I'm teaching right now, but uh, as you can tell, my voice is about to go, and I'm going to cut it off right here. But come back tomorrow. We'll be in Matthew 5, starting in verse 1, and we are going to get into the greatest sermon ever preached starting tomorrow. Thank you for watching.